Big storm system out east again. That okay. is drawing in some of that cold air. Uh, you can see that uh, snow is flying for New England, Boston, Rhode Island, really seeing some heavy snow. Now we're on the back side of the overall system, the upper level system here. So we're drawing in, in some pretty good cold air advection, and that's helping produce these scattered snow showers across the Ohio Valley through the upper Midwest. We're right on the back edge of things, but we're still getting a couple little good bursts of snow here. Pretty scattered, uh, but some of these uh, still pretty potent. You can see a good snow shower working through Jefferson County. Another one. Let's zoom in really tight in southwestern Kenosha County. Here's uh, Twin Lakes. Here's the Fox River. Here's Camp Lake and uh, here's Salem. So in between Salem and Twin Lakes uh, where this darker blue is a very brief little snow shower. OK, downtown again. We have overcast skies. Current temperature. Uh, here's Oconomowoc 30 degrees. The current temperature northwest wind at 16 and currently in Milwaukee. We're at 32 degrees winds out of the north at 8 miles per hour and you can see everybody either right at the freezing mark or just below 28 degrees in Waukesha 31 in Union Grove 31 in Kenosha. So if you do get one of these little good bursts of snow, I don't think it's going to accumulate on the roadways. However, the grassy surfaces could get at least a dusting 27 in Germantown, 29 now in Port Washington, 30 in West Bend, and 27 the current temperature in Fond du Lac. Let's go through the weather headlines. A few more flakes uh, will be possible through the afternoon. In general, we'll look for the snow showers to start to decrease in coverage. Winter and spring transition. That's where we find ourselves. Very typical for this time of year. We're going to get some up and down temperatures the next several days. All right, the Storm 4 Max satellite and radar again. Uh, look at the scattered snow showers uh, developing across southeastern Wisconsin. Let's go through our time here on future forecast and I think future forecast kind of underdoes the coverage of the snow showers, but in general you can see they're still around at 330 by nine o'clock. I think things are really starting to wind down if not completely done and then overnight tonight will clear out mainly clear skies by 3 a.m. and tomorrow during the day on Wednesday looks like a strong southwest breeze and that's going to help warm things up very nicely on Wednesday with uh, more sunshine. I think we're going to at least reach the middle 40s and by Wednesday afternoon, maybe a few thin wispy clouds starting to move through and notice how the wind shifts more out of the north on Thursday, which will send our temperatures down a bit again on Thursday. So again, up and down. All right, here's your forecast for today. 34 chilly chance of flurries and snow showers. We're seeing them for tonight. A low temperature falling down to 23 degrees, decreasing clouds and chilly away from the lake. I wouldn't be surprised if we had some temperatures in the teens later on tonight and into tomorrow morning. Here's your seven day forecast. We do quickly warm up though to 45 on Wednesday as that wind shifts southwest that will kick in some warmer air for Thursday back down to 40 Friday along the lake 38 northeast wind. So cooler near the lake inland 43 degrees, mostly sunny though on Friday. The weekend still looks pretty good, but it's trending cooler. Remember yesterday we had some middle 50s on Saturday, now upper 40s and that might be nice on Saturday, 50 degrees on Sunday. So it looks like a dry St. Patty's Day weekend with the chance of rain and snow returning on Monday. So a little cooler, but drier for the forecast this weekend. Vincent Elise.